to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to find the area of a segment, whoops, this should say segment, of a circle. What is a segment of a circle? Well, segment is the area that falls outside of a chord. So if you have a seg uh, sector, that's this whole slice of the circle, and you connect a chord from each side of that um, from the edges of the um, sector to create this little, what I call the pizza crust of the slice of pizza. So you're looking at that little pizza crust. That is what we call a segment. So a segment is this area on the outside edge of our sector. Okay, so how do you find that? Hmm. Well, first we have to find the area of the whole original green shaded part, which was the area of our segment. So we're going to find the area of our segment. And there's another video on that, but this is how you do it. You take the measure over 360 times pi r squared. So you find the area of that whole part. Then we're going to take and subtract out the area of this triangle. In this case, we have a right triangle, so it's going to be fairly easy. So triangles you have to use different formulas for depending on what you have, but in general it's going to be one half base times height. So then we're going to take the area and subtract the area of the triangle and what's left will be this segment. Okay, so let's work through this one. Okay, so we need to know the angle measure we're dealing with is n, r is our radius, and then our base and height this inside this triangle. So let's start plugging in. Well, in this triangle, we know that our angle is 90 degrees. So that's really just one fourth of our circle. And the area of the circle is going to be pi times radius. And our radius is 6, so pi times radius squared. So let's go ahead and figure out the area of this whole sector. Okay, that's one fourth of 36 pi. So that ends up just being 9 pi. Okay, so that's the area of the sector. Now let's subtract off our triangle. 1 half the base times the height. Well, the base and the height on a right triangle that's in a scribed in a circle is just the radius, right? So this measures 6 and this measures 6. So I'm going to do 1 half of 6 times 6. So 1 half of, half of 6 times 6, that's 36. Half of that's 18. So that means I'm just going to subtract 18. Okay, so there's basically the area. Now that's an exact value. If they want exact, you leave it like this, or you can always go to your calculator and get the decimal by taking 9 times pi. And pi is right here. So I'm going to click my pi button. And I get 28.27. And I'm going to subtract 18 from that, and that gives me 10.27. So that's an approximate value, 10.27 units squared, since it's area. And that's how you find the area of the segment, or the pizza crust. Hope this video was helpful.